all right what is up y'all boys this is just a quick like reaction response video to what infinasu said now i watched the first about three minutes of this three four minutes uh didn't really get didn't get the whole way through and infinasu was saying some points that i would genuinely want to reply to that i genuinely want to you know say my opinion on um and he didn't say anything wrong or bad it's just my response because he was spitting some facts and and then he he was also spitting some some you know what i'm saying some information i was just like oh, all those. but yeah let's go this is the other intro that infinasu has that i like but i don't like as much because it has the demon slayer scenes i was talking about from my last video everybody has this scene bro every every demon slayer guy has this scene i'm so that's the only reason that i just i just don't like demon slayer um intros they all have this scene Today's topic are anime games over hyped. All right, for some reason, my mic was staticking throughout the entire video. I'm not too sure why, but it literally sounds like I'm talking through a walkie talkie. But honestly, it's still audible. So just hey, y'all boys, I'm going to do it. Like when he, is he out? I got to do a video with that. I should look clean. Fit, I guess because I am not doing a take two for this. <laughs> so this is a topic I just wanted to talk about. This video is not gonna be too long. There's no reason for this video to be like over like I don't know 20 minutes long or 15 because this is just a video where I'm talking and just pretty much giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on stuff. I usually try to refrain from doing short videos like this because there's no gameplay or nothing and it's just me talking. I don't want you guys to get bored out of your minds. But still, some of these topics I can talk about could be interesting stuff that you guys might be interested in. I'm gonna try not to go too off topic because I'm trying to save some of these topics for my nutshell video. I know I keep saying. Oh, it's gonna come out sometime this week. Oh, it's gonna come out sometime next week, but it's actually coming. Just wait. All right, so if you don't know, we got a bunch of new games coming out. For example, we got a couple like Emblem Tales, Deep Woken, Jigen, Anime Legends, Reaper 2, and many, many, many more. And like a couple of these games, people were asking me on my live stream last night, Oh, how do you feel about this game? How do you feel about that game? Uh, I can't really give you guys bro, what I this game in the background, bro. I need, I need it, I need it, I need it. I feel about the game directly all I can really do is speculate and I don't like doing stuff like that because if I can't play it myself and give you guys my thoughts directly on the game then it's just gonna be literally speculation and I don't like giving speculation I want to give you guys my raw thoughts and opinions about the game after playing it myself for a couple hours or so so I don't want to put you guys in a situation for example like anime wars anime wars a bunch of youtubers did videos for the game before it dropped including me, Not me. I was hyped for the game honestly I was kind of overhyped but then like I think a couple days before release I did that video where I was talking about the rates and stuff and that killed off most of the hype for a lot of people because i pretty much exposed the rates and how bad they were and stuff because uh i do want to quickly speak on this point this is the point i got to that i was like eh. now infinasu everybody knows infinasu has a huge influence on how a game may may play out um a game success or downfall etc etc which is why infinasu never really you know talks bad on a game that may actually not be that bad that may actually be bad because like infinasu has a huge influence on games so he kind of has to stay neutral um what i will say is i can positively a hundred percent a million percent say infinasu my boy don't even stress it you did not you are not the reason why the hype died down for this game you're not the reason for that block zone is the reason why this game didn't do good i've said this a million times i said in this video that video that video this video block zone is the reason this game didn't do well not you not because you made a video on rates the rates didn't even have anything to do with how the reason why this game died block zone is the reason this game died we're not going to go into debt we're not going to explain it again if you want to want if you really want to know what i think about it you know these videos are available but block zone is the reason this game died no, it was no YouTuber's fault. All block zone.
There was just no way I let those devs get away with that. Because someone had to talk about those rates. Those rates were poor. Like, it was terrible. And Anime Warriors today, as you can see, the game's open. You can play it, but it has zero players playing. Or maybe I can just play it because I'm a tester in a group, but I'm not too sure. But either way, the game is closed now. It didn't get as much traction as they wanted it to. They dropped update one. Uh, it didn't really spike in players as they thought it would. And then the game ended up closing for a revamp. But yeah, this is just one example of many, many games that have dropped and then just died on Roblox. I can list countless amounts of games that I've played this past year that I've just dropped and then it disappeared after a week. But either way, basically I'm at a point where I'm too scared to hype you guys up for games because anything can happen. Bugs, exploiters, game might not be what you expected, the game looks cool but it's boring as hell, the game can be laggy as hell, there's just many many factors. For example, Deep Woken. I love Deep Woken, I've been playing it a lot recently. It's from the creators of Rogue Lineage, so a lot- Deep Woken, I need it. I need it. I need it now. A lot of people are expecting big things, but I don't want to overhype you guys for the game. And I always tell you guys, do not get overhyped for Deep Woken. You're going to go in with huge expectations, and it's just not going to be what you expected. You guys got to keep in mind that this is why I got to that. I wanted to speak about the main, the main point, but I'm going to let it play out. This is Roblox. Set your expectations to the bare minimum. <laughs> Expect the bare minimum, please. This is Roblox. These are not AAA games made by like huge companies or something. These games are made by teens that are our age. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't expect quality, but please expect the bare minimum when it comes to games on Roblox. But now, what he just said, 100% facts. Expect the bare minimum when it comes to Roblox games because it is Roblox. But at the same time, uh, these developers are damn near more talented than AAA developers. Look at all these triple ga AAA games I got. Half of them are boring. This this was the biggest disappointment of the year. This was I un I refunded this game. I don't even know why it's still here. I refunded it. If you don't know, it's the new Demon Slayer game. Whatever. It's boring as hell. AAA games haven't been hitting the same. They haven't. Roblox is more entertaining, more fun, more immersive. Look at look at the anime. Um, look at the anime. Um, hold up. Let's look at the at bro. Hold up. Let me show y'all boys what I mean. Um, anime AAA games. Look at the anime AAA games, right? uh it's probably 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 a bad list but genshin impact boring forget all of this uh what else is there there's the one piece pirate warriors that game is boring you got one piece world seeker boring like roblox games are more immersive than a lot of these anime triple a anime games so shout out to the roblox developers bro because y'all boys hats off y'all boys are talented million times more talented than a lot of these triple a studios but this that's and that's why everybody's expectations are high because you get good games that come out that are like yo this is this is this is quadruple a quality this ain't triple a this is quadruple a quality and then, and then you know what i'm saying and then on the other side of the spectrum you have games that come out that are simulators and and cash grabs and and just not as good as it should be that's why people are disappointed but um i don't want to speak too much on that i feel like roblox games people i don't want to say people should have high expectations because obviously if it doesn't meet your expectations you're going to be disappointed but at the same time bro roblox games are more entertaining than triple a games bro and i feel like a lot of people will agree with me on that well, a lot of people on the Roblox community, obviously we're all Roblox players, so we're a bit biased. But from someone that's been, I've been playing AAA games my whole life. And to be addicted to Roblox games now, bro. Like, come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? You got to see my, got to see my point here. Roblox is not, is nothing to sleep on. This is, Roblox is one of the biggest platforms in the whole of the gaming community. Roblox is Almost, it's bigger than Origin. I'm pretty sure Roblox, the Roblox platform is bigger than Origin. I don't know if I can say Steam. Steam might be a stretch. But I'm pretty sure the Roblox, like, Roblox is huge, bro. You got talented developers coming coming in from everywhere. People need to stop sleeping on Roblox, bro. I don't feel like people should go in expecting bare minimum. Because it's kind of just like, it's like, 
why should you expect worst case scenario when the best case scenario could really be a good game for real bro we've seen it anyways i'm sorry i just poured poured everything out there let me shut up and continue the video but yeah, as I was talking about with Deep Woken, Deep Woken, I love that game, but it may not be what you guys think on release. And I don't even- Just gonna say, I did praise Roblox developers, but a lot of y'all boys are scumbags. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just had to throw it out there because I don't want, I don't want to, you know, be too nice to, to the Roblox developers that don't deserve kind words. A lot of y'all boys are, are, are real scumbags, bro. I ain't gonna say why, but I'm just gonna say, yo, bro. Yo, yeah, I know, I know, y'all boys got the racks of these games, but like, come on now, chill. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? What I don't even know if I'm gonna be playing Deep Oak on release because the game's gonna be completely different, probably. I'm not saying different content-wise, and I mean different in player base. Right now, the game's a CC game, and it's fun. You see the same people every time, and you're constantly just fighting your friends and stuff. It's just like No. Two or something at the moment. But then on release, there's probably gonna be exploiters running around, and that's just going to ruin the game for me. Exploiters is probably the main reason why I'm kind of scared to play Deep Oak on release because that's probably gonna kill off the hype for a lot of people. If Deep Oak drops and a whole bunch of exploiters are going rampant, that's gonna be very annoying for me and. A lot of people i mean yeah you can just ban them but Facts. what if they just keep coming back it's just really annoying and that's Facts. not really something that's in their control roblox is anti-cheat is pretty much non-existent so yeah there's that but yeah anyway deep is gonna be a completely different game on a release probably basically what this video what i'm trying to say is please don't get overhyped for these games that are coming out there's a bunch of new games you can enjoy them but please don't have too high of expectations this is roblox roblox like i don't want another situation like um for example cyberpunk 2077 Remember that game everybody was hyped i think that game came out like i think this year everyone was hyped and then it got dropped and it was a buggy mess because thank god i didn't pre-order this game bro like i was just i was so game, close to doing it as well devs didn't allow them to show their own footage so you couldn't see how much of like a buggy low graphics mess you want to know what's crazy about cyberpunk 2040 2047 i don't care what it's called um before the game actually released you had a bunch of big youtubers saying oh i got to play an early access build of the game the game's amazing blah 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 blah, blah. those guys were paid actors bro those guys were really paid actors bro i'm so sorry i know they probably signed the nda and if they you know talked bad about the game they'll get sued for millions and but come on bro that game was i mean i still played it on stream and it was buggy as hell but i mean it is what it is but yeah don't get overhyped for these games cyberpunk 2077 people are going crazy trying to get a refund for that game and another example that bleach prodigy game holy crap what the hell happened there oh man that's an entirely different story for another video man, i know i'm kind of late to the situation but that situation is crazy so basically with Bleach Prodigy, the game was basically just a sneak peek game. The owner had like a full on Bleach Discord hyping up the game like crazy and it was literally just a sneak peek game. And then the game dropped and then all there was was a base plate. I've been saying this bro, y'all boys get hyped for games you ain't even seen gameplay of. Now the games I've been hyped for, I've seen gameplay for so, you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys buying out here, buy buying package deals and stuff for games you've seen in nothing for that's crazy i'm not gonna lie I don't no one deserves to get scammed but if you're that stupid you kind of ask to get scammed like it's like i don't feel sorry for you if you put a hundred dollars into a game that doesn't even exist yet it's just come on bro it's it's crazy he had a whole bunch of game passes on pre-order apparently i'm not too sure 100 percent about that part though but apparently they said he had a whole bunch of game passes that were on pre-order and then the game dropped it was just a base plate he took everybody's robux and then he disappeared <laughs> that's tough but uh yeah that's an entirely different topic for a different day but anyway that's pretty much it for this video that's pretty much all i wanted to say like i said i don't want this video to be too long because yeah he spat facts um let's just, okay, well the, the, I, i'm not really playing anything i'm just talking but yeah at the end of the day this is roblox expect the bare minimum when it comes to these games no offense to any of the devs games that i name dropped but anyway as i was saying if you have expectations too hypes for all these games anything can happen on release like literally the game's gonna be completely different on release anything can happen bugs exploiters not what you expected the game looks really cool on sneak peeks but it's laggy as hell or boring as hell anything can happen so yeah like i said don't have your expectations too high if your expectations are far too high and the game drops you're going to crash and burn he's got a point if an spits facts he spit he'll spit in facts he'll spit in facts i just don't feel like it's cool to say have your expectations low like 
don't I don't feel like anyone should expect the bare minimum if not for everything to flop but at the same time if you have that mindset at least you won't be disappointed when a game you're looking forward to is kind of trash but you know I don't know. I don't feel like Roblox is not at the state it was a couple years ago where every game was just kind of blocky and 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 kind of bad, like genuinely made for kids like prison, prison life and Roblox high school for the odors. Um, Roblox is at a state where we have seen amazing games developed, be in development and being released. And people just want that consistency. People want to play good games. We all want to play. No one wants to play a bad game. No one wants to call a game trash. We just want to play a good game. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now. Somehow my video is longer than Infinasis. I'm going to see our boys tomorrow. Uh, I may as well start recording tomorrow's video. Love y'all boys. Peace.